A little spontaneous recording, just because uh, the projectionist gave me a toy projectory bot, one of these little LED projectors. So I took it to bits just because, well, that's what we do in this channel. And uh, it starts off with the, uh, well, the control circuit board for a start. Uh, well, let's start uh, right at the very beginning, where the mains comes in and there's a power supply under here, a switch mode power supply, which not only drives the LED directly, but it also has the control lines for the LED uh, and the power for the uh, actual circuit board on uh, this small ribbon cable going to the power supply here. So this is the, the main logic board, not really an awful lot on it, uh, I wouldn't expect a lot on it these days, just the main video processing chip and display driver. And it uses a, a light source in the form of a LED that appears to be optimised for the task. It's basically putting out a rectangular form and it's got an array of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 by 3 chips. Um, I notice that it's got fairly heavy uh, cables coming onto it. And there's also what looks like a one-shot thermal fuse. don't know if that's one shot or it's a resettable fuse on the heat sink. And no notable thing about the heat sink is it's got the copper heat pipes probably filled with a, a basically a solvent to take the... As it evaporates, it takes the heat away across to these uh, fins. And that's where the fan is uh, concentrating most of its airflow. It's a sort of side fan. Uh, and it's blowing air uh, from the front through the side of these fins to uh, keep that LED cool. The display itself is an LD, LCD display here with a polarising filter in front, a adjustable uh, keystone correction, which is basically a Fresnel lens that can be tilted backwards and forwards. And to get the focal distance, they've got a front-mirrored lens here, um, a 45-degree lens, which I'm not going to touch because I don't want to get a fingerprint in the front of it. And that gives a, a much greater distance from the LED before it fires out through this, le this lens. The light from the LED is collimated by this rather neat optical assembly, which is basically a mirrored interior with, a, a, again, a Fresnel lens in the front to concentrate that, well, more to actually gather the light from the LED and create a large surface area for, for uh, controlling the way it goes through this LCD display. And that's fundamentally it. It's a modest resolution. I think this one's 800 by 480. Um, and uh, the only downside to this unit is it's not mega bright. We were trying it in the wall, and ultimately it's going to produce a picture about the same size as a standard TV. But, um, you know, inside the quality isn't too bad. It looks as though it's been quite well thought out. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to remember what model of the... I think it's a generic Chinese one. Uh, XL Van LED Projector. Yeah, never heard of it. But uh, that's what it looks like inside, because we just took it to bits.